Good morning. Welcome back to school. Happy Thursday to you. We've almost made it through the week. We have a really exciting thing for you today that I just can't wait for. We've got uh, Mr. Hutchinson coming from the Big J Show, and he has been involved in a program to get every kid in our school a book. So he's going to be coming today. He'll just have a couple words for you, and we're going to get everybody a book. It's going to be an awesome time. But before we do that, I want to talk about today's manner. And you'll get a chance to practice this at the assembly today because we are going to have a quick little assembly at about 1045. It should only last about five to 10 minutes and you'll be back to your classrooms. But we do want to come together and celebrate. And this manner is all about how we celebrate and then we celebrate others when they do something well. So we're going to celebrate Mr. Hutchinson because what he's done for us is amazing because every kid's going to get a book all year long, every single month. You'll get one book every month this year. So you'll walk away this year with like nine or 10 books which is super cool that people have just donated that money to you to have a book at home. That's so cool. So the, the manner reads like this. It says, congratulate others when they do something well. Your clapping should last about three seconds with a volume at the appropriate level. So there are different times when you do different things to celebrate people. So most of the time we clap with our, our fingers right here, hitting the palm of our hand like this, right? So let's do this together. I want you just to give me two claps, putting your hand right here, and we're just gonna go clap, clap. Are you ready? Here we go, join me. Are you ready? We're gonna do two claps. One, two, three, go. That's it, that's how you clap. It doesn't have to be super loud. Now, if you're at certain events, that clap is gonna be very short. So there are sometimes when somebody does what's called a solo, where they're in a group performing, but they will stand up and do something on their own, and sometimes people will clap right in the middle, but it's very short. It's literally like maybe a second, maybe two seconds at most, but it's a quieter clap. So instead of hitting your hand so hard, you just go like this and it's done. Notice I, I did like five claps, one, two, three, four, five, done. It's that short. So what was that, 10 seconds? So it doesn't last long, it's very short. So that would be one way to clap, but typically we say your clap should last about three, three seconds or so. Okay, and we don't clap with our hands like this. That's too loud. That's too crazy. There are times too when if it's other performances, it's okay to shout. It's okay to cheer as far as like, yeah, get it, stuff like that. When you go to sporting events and do some of those things, fans are cheering out things of excitement. If you go to soccer games, football games, basketball games, things like that, People will scream and yell during the performance. If you watch gymnastics, the gymnastics teams, whether it's the USA team or even just at your local gym, they'll cheer and sometimes yell the person's name and they're like, come on, you got it, you got it. And they do things like that. Those are okay. In an assembly where it's a performance, it's not okay to scream out things like that. Those are times when we do the quieter clapping because we're, we're focusing, we're paying really good attention, we're trying to listen and hear and all those things. So if you go to a play, if you go to a singing performance or a band performance, now I'm talking a band like a formal band, not like a, a concert at the Metro. That's totally different again, right? And we've talked about this in our gym too, that if we get groups to come in and play music, it's okay to move your head like this or sway it side to side, or even be like tapping a little beat on your knees because you're normally sitting crisscross, right? So your knees are up here and you're tapping on your knees. That's okay. It's not okay to bump into a neighbor. It's not okay to um, sing out loud with the song. We're listening to the other people sing. So there are ways you show appreciation, but if somebody does something well, even in your classroom, we're gonna congratulate those kids. So your teacher might say, give a round of applause for Mr. Niemeyer, and you guys would clap for three seconds and they would stop. Or they might say, power clap for Mrs. Fred, and it's done. Power clap is sometimes two, sometimes teachers do one. It just depends. On my soccer team, every time they announce a girl and she has to say her number to the referee and then they step across the field over by the referee, we do two claps for that girl. So if I were on the team and, or if I'm the coach and I got Sarah standing next to me and they say, um, Sarah, and she screams out her number 32 and we all go <laughs> and we stand with our hands kind of here just waiting for the next person. Or we'll put them down by our sides, they'll say the next person's name they say their number, start walking, power clap bump for, for Sarah as she goes across. That's what we do at soccer. So you can talk about that with your teacher and how they do things. Let's do a power clap real quick and just practice this. 
Power clap is just two claps, bang, bang, ready? We're gonna do, uh, let's just celebrate your teacher today because your teachers are awesome and do great things. So let's look at your teacher for a second, find your teacher. Power clap for your teacher on three, one, two, three. Did you do it? You might've missed it. Ready, let's try it one more time. That's gonna be my cue. I'm gonna say power clap for your teacher on three, one, two, three, and then we go bang, bang, ready? All right, look towards your teacher. Power clap for your teacher on three, one, two, three. Nice, now you can also do it like this. Power clap for your teacher. Join me, ready? Just gonna do it that way. Power clap for your teacher. There you go, and you wanna all do it together so it just sounds like two claps. It shouldn't sound like 13, 14, 18, 25. It should just sound like two claps because everybody does it together. We love celebrating people. That's what we wanna do. So celebrate each other, do it the right way, have some fun with it. We'll see you at our assembly. And I can't wait to give you guys a book. And I know Mr. Hutchinson can't wait either. We'll talk to you soon.